Hello! In this little video I'm going to show you how to deal with the M code that you might come across in this forum when searching for help in the query editor. There are basically four different types of code formats that I will briefly introduce here on the slide here before demonstrating them step by step. The most convenient is the first one as it contains a full set of sample data in the first row and if you copy it to the editor it will be a fully working self-contained query. You can identify a full query if the code starts with a let like here and ends with an in and an expression here. So this means that um, it's a full query uh, that will return results once you uh, paste it um, into Power BI in the query editor. The second case is also a full query, but instead of containing sample data, um, here it gives a reference to an existing query in your in your query editor already. The last uh, two cases um, are just simple lines of code like here. One line of code is relatively easy to implement into your existing solutions and once you get multiple lines of codes that need to be um, integrated in your existing solution it gets a bit, little bit more complicated but I will show that later on. So um, let's check how to do it. So let's start with the with the first code. Um, let's imagine that you, where you think that might be the solution to your problem, then you copy that um, here and move to open Power BI and in Power BI you go to edit queries and you um, create a new query here, blank, blank query and then you go to the advanced editor up here and you replace all the existing code here by um, checking it and then again right click your mouse and paste paste the copied code. So that's the code we copied from, from the forum and we click done and you see voila um, we have a result and we have a couple of steps. So this is what this code has produced in the query editor. So what's it? Um, here's some source data, our magical source data. The scripted code has been translated to this source data. We can have a look at it also here when we click on this icon here. There we see uh, what it is and we can also add some code if we like. Here, for example, another one here. Let's take this date. So we've added some lines and click OK. And here, here we go. And we can see all the steps. Uh, the new data is also now included here. So this is a quite a convenient way to understand or uh, to see what um, this means. So we give it a nice name. So this is full query with sample data. So the next case is uh, the second case where we also have a, a full query but no sample data included, just the reference to an existing table. We can copy that and again create a blank query and paste it in the advanced editor and now we get an error here that import table one matches no export so we can go to the error it says here it is the table one wasn't recognized so you see we don't have a query or a table that is called table one but we have query here so this is our our source data that, but that we want to take so what we do is that we 
replace the reference to the table here by the name of the existing query, like this, and voila, um, the query is now working, so um, I think it should have been date, but does, that does matter. So we have our running, running indexes here. So this is an example how to deal with full queries with references to query. Um, but there are challenges with this approach. So let's imagine, we duplicate this, let's imagine um, that we didn't want to reference this table but this table, this um, this is uh, some other data. So we, instead of referencing the first query, we now reference the second query, like here, other data. And then we get another error. So here it says that the column group of the table wasn't found. So um, Here's the, a reference to a column named group. And the question is why he hasn't found it. So we look in the table here and we see, well, we actually don't have a column named group because it's named groups with an S. So we just edit it and say, well, give it an S. So this is fine now. And we see some results, but we are not totally happy with it because the date doesn't contain any dates. So what's what's happened here? And we don't have an error. So we click click on this icon here and we say, wow, uh, date isn't included here. We need to check the column date. So let's do that. Uh -huh. So we have the date, but we still have a, a strange column here. So what what it did is um, it remembered the code from from the other query here when we copied it, but he didn't have a column. And in this case, in case instead of returning an error, he just uh, returns a blank column. So in order to get rid of it, we added the query code up here and delete this stuff. So. And then we are fine, so we have a nice result. So we call this field adjustment. Okay, so the next step is, is our single line of code which which is this so we copy this single line of code and now we reference our table with the source data and add another step where we paste the code up here and then we delete the name and then we get an error saying token end of expected and we see here the cursor he doesn't like the comma so we delete that and then we get another error message saying the column serial num wasn't found so again we have the group here and in the code it tries to group on serial num and not on group, so we know how to deal with that. So we just give it the name of the color, and he's fine with that. But we have an error here now. So we click right to the error message in order to uh, see what it is down here. The specified sort criteria was invalid. So we have a sort here, table sort. And then we have a, col a reference to a column date updated. And let's check 
whether this could be the source. And yes, the column just um, is called date here. So we adjust that as well. Oh, that looks better. So it's got a table here. Let's check. Yeah, looks all right. So we can just expand the table and voila, uh, see the results. So if you just have one line of code, you can really relatively easily just paste it in the editor here and you're good to go. So we call that single line of code. And the last example for today is multiple lines of code. What if we thought this might be the solution to our problem? We copy the two lines of codes and reference our source data. And now we cannot just paste it here like we did before, but instead we have to go to the advanced editor and copy the two lines of codes in here. So we need to add the comma here because uh, to, in order to indicate that um, additional steps are following. And we clean that a little bit. And then we also have to return the last step. So we comment that out here with, the, with, with, with these two slashes and we replace it by the lookup. And so we click done. And oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, hmm. Looks good. No error message. It's surprise, surprise. So we click on here. And click on here. Yeah. So that was good. So actually we didn't, we didn't have to adjust anything. Yeah. Otherwise, um, we would have just to apply the same steps like we did here just to see where, where do the error messages pop up and basically normally just check the names of the columns and, um, you're good to go. Yeah. So, um, I hope this was helpful in a way and yeah, if you liked it and if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up um, so that this video will be visible for other um, users of this forum as well. Thank you very much.